हमास के रॉकेट हमले से इसराइल में 22 की मौत पीएम मोदी बोले मुश्किल घड़ी में हम इसराइल के साथ इसराइल पर हमास आतंकियों ने हमला बोल दिया है गाजा पट्टी से इसराइल की और भारी मात्रा में रॉकेट दागे गए हैं इस हमले में 22 लोगों की मौत हो गई है भारत में इसराइल के राजदूत नरोर गिलोन ने हमास आतंकियों के रॉकेट हमले की निंदा की है इससे बुजुर्ग महिलाओं और बच्चों की जान चली गयी है उन्होंने कहा है की इसराइल इस हमले का सारा जवाब देगा और आतंकियों को ऐसा सबक सिखाएगा कि वो दोबारा ऐसी हरकत को अंजाम नहीं देंगे उन्होंने पीएम मोदी के समर्थन के लिए धन्यवाद जताया है Uh, they have been butchering executing and abducting israeli civilians from their homes we have reports of israeli civilians being held in gaza and there are also many other unconfirmed reports of israeli casualties uh, more than 1000 rockets already fired at um, 80% of populated israel including our capital jerusalem and tel aviv Uh, but the real story is a ground attack multiple attacks into israel on the ground by uh, gangs of terrorists that have been able to infiltrate into israel and to wreak havoc in israeli communities those attacks have still not yet been eradicated and they are ongoing as we speak it is almost 11 am israeli time and as we speak these attacks are ongoing we have not yet gained control of the situation once we will i'm sure that israeli authorities will have official numbers as to the exact toll in casualties killed uh, and abducted israeli civilians and soldiers um, and as we speak israel has started its very first stage of retaliating against military targets belonging to hamas in gaza Uh, we are in the beginning of a new situation a level of attack that we have not seen before and as such i think that the israeli response will be at a level not seen before not by hamas not by hezbollah and not by any of the other iranian proxies and i wouldn't rule out that this time for the first time israel will expand the response and not confine it only to the uh, current bat- area of operations which is the gaza strip but that we may see attacks or retaliations by israel that are not confined by the geographical area of operations and there's this supposed this eerie sense of calm uh, but again knowing that at any given moment we need to drop whatever we're doing and rush to shelter um in Tel Aviv we are fortunate because we are a little bit further away from the border uh, from the border with Gaza so we have a little bit more time to find shelter and by a little bit more time i mean really in consequential in seconds quite frankly uh but in the south of Israel uh, in the immediate vicinity of the borders of Gaza that is where uh, apparently dozens of Hamas uh, terrorists uh, have infiltrated and there at the moment the situation is very dangerous um with IDF now operating to try and locate and uh, neutralize the threat of terror